Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use for each file in folder activity in UI path. I will include three scenarios filter Excel file from the root folder, loop through Word files, including subfolders, get file details. So, these three scenarios will be included in this video. And at the end, you will have one question and you have to reply your answer in the video comment section. So let's start now. So to use for each file in folder activity, we have to search here for each file in folder. So this is the specific activity that we have, which especially work with the files in the folder. Earlier when there was no such activity, so we were using for each activity. And then we were going through the directory dot get files and then loop through each files right now we have the specific activity for this purpose so I will just drag and drop here and now you can see here it has for each current file so here we have a variable that we'll be using here so for each file in the loop we'll have this current file and in this one we'll have the file complete file path this is the folder like from this folder whatever folder you'll pass here from there that files will be picked this is for include subfolders so if you have folder inside folder that is called subfolders this will allow you to get the files from the subfolder also here we have skip folders where access is denied so if you don't have access to any specific folder then it will skip that one so let's say if, if you have multiple folders including the subfolders and then for one folder access is denied then that can skip here and it will move to the other folder here we have the important thing that is filter by example we have a star dot xlsx so if you want to loop through excel file then you have to put here star dot xlsx if you want to loop through word file then star dot docx right same way now here we have order by so we have list of order by options you want to process the files in order based on this order by options like first a smallest file should be processed or first largest file should be processed like that mostly people use last updated date newest first or last updated date oldest first okay now here we have do section here you can put all this activity for which you want to execute so let's say you have multiple files and you are going to loop through each files and for each file you are going to open that file and make some changes in the that word document or excel file and then save that and close that right and pick the next excel file like that so you want to do the same thing in the loop then you can put those activities here for now I will just take here one log message. And here I will just take this current file which is coming from here. So this variable basically, this variable has the file path. Here we'll select the log label as a info. Now in the folder, we'll select folder here. So I have already created two folders. First, here we have Excel files. So I have two types of files here. You can see Excel SX and Excel. So if I want to just process Microsoft Excel box it, then it will be Excel SX. But if it is required to process Excel S also, then we have a workaround basically. We can just modify in that filter. So I will take this folder in double quotes I will paste that so now I'm going to walk iterate through each Excel file currently I'm not going to select include subfolders we have filter so here I want to process only s only xlsx file so I will put here star dot xlsx so we have three files available in that folder but now because we have this filter applied so this will take only two files 
which has the file extension xlsx so it works based on the extension now let me run that so you can see here we have one two only two files which is showing with the file extension xlsx if you want only xls so you can write like this xls so this is for the excel now the second scenario that include subfolder okay so now we have this word document okay let me create one subfolder that is for again word and i will move these two files inside this subfolder and now I will pass only this root folder here and in the filter I will put here star like asterisk dot docx that is Microsoft Word document now I want to include the subfolder also so I, we have to check this checkbox and then need to run this one and this time we'll have four file names here file path completely okay so you can see currently we have one two three fourth is not here because that is doc file dot doc now if i need to process both the things now here i'm going to show you how to modify this filter so that we, it can take both the files doc and docx so now we have this asterisk which accept zero or more characters so it can take doc or docx now let's run that okay so you can see here now one two three four that is DOC also the last one the last scenario that I'm going to show you here that how to use properties methods of this current file you have to type dot and once you'll type dot here wait for a few seconds automatically this list will be appeared and here you can see we have functions like methods properties that you can use here I want to get the creation time then I have to just write here current file dot creation time and this will give us the creation time of all these files you can press control space just to get this pop-up and then you can just scroll a little bit slowly and you will see here we can get the directory we can get the directory name of this file where this is stored we can get we can also see current file dot exist we can get current file extension like what is the extension dot xlsx dot xls dot docx or dot doc like that we can get the folder we can get the full name we can get the last access time last modified date and then we have name and size in kb so mostly your scenario will be to get the only file name from the file path the complete file path so once you'll take this one current file dot name so that will just give you the file name that is like this word doc 3 dot xlsx so let's run this and you can see here now I have one question for you so the question is which filter option should be used for the for each file in folder activity to iterate between all the PDF documents in a local folder we have four options a star dot pdf file b dot pdf c star dot pdf d only pdf you can reply your answer in the video comment section i hope this video is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video